This week on Pink's All Out. He needs it! Oh, look at the Mustang! He broke! Texas. It's where Pink's All Out got its start. And on their return visit to this great state, Rich and the crew have set their sights on one of the fastest tracks in the South, Houston Raceway Park. The fastest cars are in Texas. In Houston area, for Texas 2K and everything, this is where it's at. And this track always performs the best for the ETs one because it is sea level altitude. Well, you run basically about a tenth faster here than you would any place else. We get good weather at the end of the year. It's just a great place to run. Texas may be known for longhorn cattle. Texas longhorns, man. Big trucks. And cowboys. Just because it's Texas don't mean that. I know I got an accent, but we don't ride horses to work. <laughs> but times have changed. Cowboys turned in the horse and a saddle for Mustang. Mustang country, baby. Lots of Mustangs. Yeah, pull it through. All the Chevy guys, we asked to see passports to come into Texas. We allow them in for one race, and then they got to go back home. This Camaro's fixing to kick a lot of Mustang ass today, baby. No, 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 no. The Mustang will be right at the end. You watch. Hundreds of hopefuls in search of taking home the $10,000 grand prize saddle up for the first of two qualifying rounds. Round one has the racers launching off the electronic pro tree, which flashes to green in less time than it takes to blink. I'm going to be on the tree, and I'm going to leave them behind. Round two ratchets up the pressure to focus on Rich's unpredictable arm drop. I've asked him to do one thing. Run your car all out. I'm trying to do good arm drops, run, run all out, and see if we can be one of the last standing. Qualifying ends, and the wait begins. Now just wait to see if, uh, what numbers they pick. Back at the tower, Timing and scoring ref Brian Bassone crunches the numbers and determines it's the quick fire rumblers of the mid to high nine second class cars that took the day and have earned a chance to race in the 32 car runoff. Talk about a bunch of racers who ran all out today. Am I right about that? Huh? Whoa. Here we go. Car number 6060. Yeah. 60. I told you, I told you I was gonna get picked, and I told you I was gonna put everybody on the trailer, man. Tonight, number 6-0. 25. Yeah! There you go, brother. Stock suspension, small block, we're in. 72. Where are you? Let me hear you, brother. Wins! Yeah! <laughs> Car 71. Right there. 71. Uh, me and my brother just got on. <laughs> I'm gonna kick his the, ass. The Buckner boys. <laughs> Car one, 23. That's you? Get to your car, sir, and get to the lanes. Baby, I just got drawn for the final 32. We're bringing the money home to Louisiana. Y'all come and watch Pink's All Out, because it's all out rock and roll. The chosen 32 round up their rides, looking to lasso their spots in the Wix Filters All Out 16. This is awesome! Woo! I'm feeling great, man. This is great. Always first round, a little bit of nervous. Once in a lifetime chance. Ready to win some races, baby. I'm gonna put this little Ford on the winter circle. Put everybody on the trailer. I feel like my family's behind me and we're gonna get this done. Yeah, baby! Good luck. Yeah. We started with 500. We worked our way down to 32 cars. It's awesome. 
It's an awesome feeling just to get picked for the 32, let alone make it to the 16. My dad started building this car and he passed away. We, we finally got it finished. So he never got to see it go down the track. He's riding with me on the back window. He's with, he's here with us. This is the final race for the 16th spot. Before the race even started. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> the wind light, the wind light was on before the race was ever over with, as if there was a red light. And that shouldn't happen when we're arm dropping. And it looked like the right lane won, just looking at it. Well, no, he's got to look at it on the tape. I know I'd asked him off the line. And it was the, over with. Are you, are you, I'm in the gold car. I asked him bad off the line. I'll treat him. I, I got the arm drop on him. It was close. I, I'm almost positive I was ahead of him. They're checking the big end camera just to make sure. Okay, thank you. So if there's any difference, hang out. One of the guys who's sweeping the track activated the green light. We have an issue that maybe the wind light indicated one thing, but the actual winner might have been another. Something about the tree, the wind light was on when I left. We want to make sure the right racer moves on in the competition. I'm pretty sure I was ahead of him at the finish line, so. Do they have film footage? I'd rather go to film footage. Jimmy, is that the finish line, Cam? I felt like I cut him at the light and I had him covered the whole way. Somehow the tree got activated. That's what they're telling me. I think he rolled in and put both bulbs out. Does he say I rolled my bulb? No, I didn't roll my bulb. Rolled the top bulb out deep stage, and deep stage you're out. Whoa, right there, right there. There it is, there's the shot. I'm gonna say I'm 95% sure I had him covered. Look, no question, right lane by a fender ahead. Solid fender ahead. This is aggravating. <laughs> I doubt he's just gonna roll over and say okay. <laughs> I went me around and then they're gonna feel like fixing to get taken away. So we looked at the tape positively. Me and Class, what took us so long down there? We went down there the whole time. Rewound it, rewound it, rewound it. He's solid, had you by fender, period, oh, at the stripe. How many times are we gonna change it? Well, we never changed anything. Yeah. We went and looked at the tape. Oh, let, the me tape? let me see it. You want to see the tape? We can, you know, I'm sure they I can show you the tape. Y'all gonna take it from me? Let's rerun it. At the stripe, he had you by a fender. Let me ask you this. If we carry you down there to show you the tape, we ain't gonna rerun it. Period. Okay, okay. Well, you know what I'm saying? Talk to the powers of being. Yep. Come back. They're gonna take it from me, then we need to rerun. We won't do nobody wrong. Get the car in the other lane and let's rerun. Coming up, Chris and Dwayne settle it on the track. Here you go, the grudge match for the 16th spot. And later, get some! One racer may be celebrating. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A bit too soon. Solid had you by Fender, period, oh, at the stripe. Pink's All Out is at Houston Raceway Park. I want to rerun it. Y'all going to take it from me, let's rerun it. The final race of the 32 car runoff has just been run. But a technical glitch has left the results in question. I couldn't tell you where he was at. I mean, I know he wasn't a car length ahead of me. I mean, that's pretty obvious. We're going to see what happens. You know, I thought, what, what more can you do? I don't understand why it took 20 minutes to look at it. And if they telling me it's just they won by a fender, it took a long time to look at that fender. All I know is we got some funky lights, and you're, he's right. I mean, the fender was it there, but nobody can explain the starting line stuff. That dude all pissed. I'm like, dude, what are you pissing me for? I'll tell you 10 out of 10 times that tape showed you lost. Not like I'm making it up. The 32 car runoff comes to an end with the final race still unresolved. 
resulting in the first ever Wix Filters All Out 17. Woo, this is the best because it's competitive and, and you don't know who's going to win. This time, this is the second time he's been picked. This time, the steering wheel's staying on. In 07, right here, same car. We went all in, and after the launch, the steering wheel come unlocked, and I lost the steering wheel, lost the race. This is my retribution. I've got to do something or go home. This is pretty exciting, real exciting. We went to the final rounds up in the Quick 8 up in Dallas. Whoa! Unfortunately, I hit the wall in the final round out there. But we got it back together. We're good. I'm pumped. I've been to the uh, final round at Indy at the first stock eliminator at the NHRA national event. And this is up there, man. This is awesome. All right, welcome racers. You are part of the Pink's All Out Wix Filter 16. Okay? Congratulations for making that. Good job. Right now, in your Wix Filters package, you have a gift certificate worth $550, t-shirt, hat. So just go online, get what you want, have at it. As what happens in Pink's, things go crazy. So instead of 16, I can actually count, I see 17. So we have a discrepancy on that one pass. How you settle it on Pink's is one way. Heads up, run what you brung, first to the finish line. Now it's serious. You make a tiny mistake, I promise you, you're going home. I wish you the best of luck, and this is it. Now you're this close. You have a 1 in 16, 17 chance of $10,000. Gentlemen, let's race. What do you say? Here we go. Get your cars. Let's go. It's on, baby. The 17 racers still in the running reunite with their rides and trusted crews. A short quarter mile and a quick nine second run is all that stands between a spot in the U.S. Army All Out 8 and $500 cash. All right, relax. Okay, deep breath, man, deep breath. You be all right. Relax, relax. You be all right. Take a chance on what we got. David against the line. Hey, hey, let's see what happens. My baby, step. You're alive, let's go. Knock him down, baby, one at a time. Here we go. How are you, Daddy? How are you, Daddy? Come on, Daddy. All right, brother. Oh, 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 oh. But first, Racers Chris Rhodes and Dwayne Smallwood line up to deal with some unfinished business. Here you go, the grudge match for the 16th spot in the All Out Wick 16. Sell it right here, 1,320 feet worth of grudging. Remember, the winner of this race goes right back in line and races again to get down to the eight. First to the finish line moves on, the loser goes home. Fire up those cars, let me have them. Here we go, sit back and enjoy Pink's All Out. All right, here we go. We have two Camaros, but we only have one spot ready. The score is settled, but Chris Rhodes has no time to talk. He has to fly back to the staging lanes and line up for his spot in the Wix Filters All Out 16. All right, Willie, 16 cars, eight spots. Take it away, my friend. First up is John Williams III. They call him the short dog. He's in a 1973 Nova, paid 150 bucks for it 20 years ago. The average man to get a chance to come out here and battle and have fun and win. And everybody got a chance when you come to Pink's All Out. He's going against Brian Gallagher. I've never seen a guy pull 60 foot times like Brian has, and then I find out he's foot breaking the car. I'm an underdog. I got a stock suspension car with little, little tires on it, and it's going to hook and go. chance to battle, and this is what we come out here for, to have a competition to battle. All right, here we go. In the left lane, Rich, Derek Patton. 
and a 1970 Maverick. His dad drove this car to high school. This car has been in his family longer than Derek's been in his family. We're going to try to keep it in family and pass it down. It's kind of a... Uh... He ain't going nowhere. All right, he's going against Donnie Vernon. Donnie in a 1967 Camaro. Believe it or not, smallest cubic inch motor in the field. Comes from a big Chevy family. Loves loading up Fords. I'm excited. I'm real excited. I can't believe this is me. I mean, I've watched this show over and over, and I can't believe I'm here. Every weekend, I ain't never this snow. Ever. It is awesome. Just won another round. We're doing something right. Thought I had him, man. I, I never saw him until the very end. He kind of pulled on me. Thought I had him. Who do we got, Will? All right, here we go. In the Chevy pickup truck, we have John Gibson. It's a 1996 S10. He's from Mississippi. Wants to take some of the Texas boys' money tonight. Hopefully, I'm going to put that guy out next and get him on the trailer, and then I can work on the next one. I'm ready. All right, we have Robert here in a 69 Chevelle. He borrowed this car. He pointed in it nine times. Ready to show everybody what he can do tonight. I've been racing since I was able to drive. 16 years old, I'm 41, so you do the math. Coming up, two Pink's All Out vets take to the track. Ready for his redemption right now for you. Oh! And later, a jump call riles up the crew. He didn't jump. No, he did jump. Everybody up there called it. He jumped. It's race three of the Wix Filters All Out 16 at Houston yeah. Raceway Park. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Willie, the left lane is too fast. He's going home. Oh, so I'm out? Damn. I feel awesome. I'm stoked. This is, this is, this is awesome. Do what I just did. Whatever happens, happens. It's not in my control. I'm uh, pretty upset I lost, but I guess I went too fast. Part of the racing. Willie, who do we got coming up? Now, over here in the left end lane is Javier. Javier's in that 02 Ford Mustang at the 07 Pink Stall Out event, totaled his Mustang. He's got the same motor back in this one, ready for his redemption right now for you. Oh, man, I'm so excited, man. Uh, I just had a feeling I knew I was going to get picked, and, you know, uh, here we are. Troy's going to be in the right hand lane. It's an 83 Mazda RX-7. Car only weighs 2,500 pounds. Get this, said he built a light car because he's never going on a diet. I've always loved drag racing, and it gives me a adrenaline rush. And uh, nowadays, it's a lot cheaper than drugs, and you don't go to jail as much. too much real estate. Go ahead, Will. Who do we got? All right, in the lucky lane, we have Jeff Seacut. Now, Jeff is in the 87 Grand National. Had a Grand National when he was 18. He crashed it 20 years later. He's in his dream car on his dream show. Man, I just want to keep advancing. I want to keep going. I want to make it to the end. 
now. He's going against 72, Duster. And get this, Kevin, if he wins at 10K, he's gonna give it all to his wife. It's all about having fun. But today it's about, we're gonna win this money. He just came around me on the big end. I had him out of the hole and he came right around me. Willie, what do we got? Charles in this 2000 Trans Am owned a car about six years, bought it as a street car, but like most of us rich, always trying to go faster. The months and years that it takes to get something of this caliber to everything work right. The motor work right, the transmission work right, the rear end, getting the car to hook, the front end to come up. You're giving it everything you've got. 67 Camaro in this right lane. Steve Rucker behind the wheel. 477 cubic inches. A big block Chevrolet, Rich. Get to the next round, and then the next one after that, and the next one after that, and take the money home. Keep my cool and win the whole deal, round by round. It's all mine. He okay, he knows me out at the end down there at the strike. What do we got, Will? David Buckner. This is a really special car. This guy only made 100 of these. This is number 98 out of 100. It's actually a drag pack 6.1 liter, brand new 2009 Challenger. Sick car. The true story about this car is that somebody else owned it, and I'm driving it for him, and we built the car for him. He's an investor out of Oklahoma. Now he's going against Ronnie Harper in his 68 Camaro. 453 cubic inches of big block savvy. I've, I've won a few races in my time, but this is probably one of the biggest. One of the biggest I've ever been in. Baby, going for the money. I was nervous, but you know, you go through expect to lose. You're only five hundred. Rear end went funking on me going down to there. I got something going wrong in the rear end. So. Willie, go ahead. A 1969 Camaro is in your left lane behind the wheel. Chris Rhodes says his dad owned a '69 Camaro. Always wanted one as a kid. I hope I win. Ready to go. Ready to get over with. He's going against Austin. Says this car's a total sleeper. It was actually on the speed website, putting the car in the back bumper on a 10 inch tire. I'm Ford and Chevy guy. Uh, we've got a Chevy drag car and we've got a Ford, so we got a little bit of both. Was that, a, was that a jump? Coming up, Go to the they double check the jump, but that might not be the only problem. Wait, 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 listen to this. And later, a shot at 10 grand. Oh, look at the Mustang! May go up in flames. Pink's All Out is at Houston Raceway Park. The last race of the Wix Filters All Out 16 has just ended with a possible jump. I don't think he jumped. Hey, was that a, was that a jump? He didn't jump. No, he did jump. Everybody up there caught it. He jumped. He cuts perfect lights off the tree every day of the week. Go to the tape, Kenneth. Kenneth, go to the tape. We go to the tape. He jumped, dog. Sorry. Watch it. Watch it. See? Oh, as soon as that hand moved. His hand was coming down. Okay. Yeah, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. The right lane picked up three tenths. That's too fast. He's going home. The left lane wins. What? What? By the rules that we apply to everybody, 
not just you guys, not like we're picking on you oh, guys. No. By the rules we apply to everybody, he went too fast. Whenever the temperature goes down, your speeds are going to pick up because you got Everybody cooler air. If you don't run out, you get disqualified. If you don't run dead out on the other end, y'all tell us run wide open. That's what we were doing. He told me that I run a little too fast. And I've got my chip set at 6100, and it's going way past that 6100, so I'm turning a lot more RPM, which I'm going to pick up. Oh, it's feeling a lot better now. I'm ready. Chris Rhodes and his 69 Camaro survived to move on to the U.S. Army All-Out 8. Four races to determine who moves on to the U.S. Army All-Out 4 and pocket $750 cash. Congratulations, Racer. You made it to the U.S. Army 8. Uh, Clay, distribute uh, 500 bucks to those guys. Uh, Willie, 500 bucks to all these racers. Kenneth has the pairings, and Ken. All these guys are evenly matched. They're all consistent. It's a good race no matter how we jumble these guys up. Who's our first race? Um, we got Derek and Brian. Okay. Derek, when I was announcing that group, did you really think it'd be your car that I called? No, I really didn't, but when I seen, he's a good friend of mine, and when I seen him get called, I knew I was pretty close, because we were pretty close in ET-wise. How good a friend is he when he comes up to that line? Not at all. Uh, Kenneth, second race, race two. We have Jeff and Charles. Jeff one step forward, Charles one step forward. All right, uh, Jeff, do you know Charles, best friend? Nope, don't know. All right, that's the easiest way to take somebody's money, isn't it? Yep. Don't know, just don't all know. he is is another car in the lane. Uh, where'd, you, where'd you come from? Pick you in Mississippi. Oh, you're the Mississippi guy. You're the Texas guy? All right. Shake hands, gentlemen. We'll see you guys. You'll be the second race out of four races. Kenneth, third race. Um, we got Robert and David. Robert and David, come join me. Hey, David, how you doing? Good, how's Robert, you've been to a few. Yes, sir. Right? Uh, how many have you been to? Uh, about five. You've been to five? So you're a veteran. You know what's going on. Any problems with that? No, oh, sir. Bring it on, baby. All right, gentlemen, good luck. And the good final luck. race is, Kenneth? Javier and Chris. All right, Javier, Chris. All right, uh, Javier, um, tell me what your thoughts were prepping for this competition. Man, you know, it's, it's just hard to believe that, you know, we got picked, you know, as far as the track, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see a difference in the, in the two lanes. Okay, Kenneth, what's the lane assignment? Um, Javier in the left, Chris in the right. Chris in the right, is that cool, Chris? I'd rather the left. If I, He'd you know, rather if the you don't left, mind. so no negotiation between you guys, I don't care. He, he can have it. All right, I don't, I don't it's all good, all right, that's it. Race or shake hands, get to your cars, and let's right, race. Will it be? Take it away, my brother. All right, Derek in the left lane lane. You gotta be on your game and do what you can. You win, you win, you lose, you lose, you hope to win. Brian, the foot breaker in the right hand lane. You know, I don't, I don't know how fast some of these guys' cars are, but I know that I'm gonna try my best on Rich's arm drop and I'm gonna run it as hard as I can run it. <laughs> Got him on the tree and he came around me down there. Wasn't nothing I could do. Race number two is gonna feature Charles in the 2000 Trans Am. The track is coming around and that's what my little small tire car needs. And uh, it's a good possibility I could win this thing. Now he's going against an 87 Grand National. This is Jeff Seacut. It's amazing, man. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be here. His car was faster than me, but I never seen him. After I shifted second gear, I mean, I was just pulled away from him. Well, I had him off the line. I think I had him all the way to maybe the eighth. Popped ahead of me a couple car lengths. I ran it all out. That's all I had, and uh, did the best I could. Willie, who do we got coming up for the third race? We have Robert in a '69 Chevelle. The butterflies are gone. We're just racing. That's what we've always done. We've been doing this for years. We're not. This isn't new to us. And over here in the right lane, we have David in a 2009 Challenger. Well, tonight, it's, it's all about tonight right now, baby, number one. Don't stop. Robert 
Just moving on. Everybody built me a great car. All I'm doing is driving, shifting when I'm supposed to. Everything's in its own. I thought I was pretty good on the lead. We were side by side. About the eighth mile, he started pulling on me a couple feet. And then up 1,000 foot, he started pulling on me pretty good. And that was it, man. He was gone. All right, in the left lane, we have Chris Rhodes in the 1969 Camaro. I'm just trying to relax. I'm getting better each round. Now he's going against Javier. Javier's in a 02 Ford Mustang. If I lose, I just got beat by a faster car, you know, a better driver. But uh, I'm going to give it all out, man. Coming up, two big black Chevys. Two muscle-bound Chevys battle for a spot in the final. This is my favorite matchup, the first matchup we have right here. And later, a little roll may cost one racer big. Let's turn down. He keeps saying the line was off. It's race four of the U.S. Army All Out Eight at Houston Raceway Park. Javier is moving on. So I saw his ear flink or something, and I, I was gone, man. I, I never saw the guy again. It's going to be hard to beat me on the jump, I'll tell you that. Car run good. I just think I was a little, a little slow on the line. He's a little better than me. It happens. You win them and you lose them. Javier's solid victory closes out the U.S. Army All Out 8 and starts up the U.S. Army All Out 4. These next two races will determine who moves on to the All Out final and earns a solid grand. OK, Robert, Charles, Javier, Brian, awesome. $750 more, Kenneth. What is the matchups? All right, we got Brian and Robert. OK, Brian, Robert, good. You'll be the first race. All right, so at this point, tell me exactly what you need to do with your car to get it down the track in the conditions that you have tonight. Just do keep on doing what we've been doing all night long. It seems to be working. Uh, is your crew helping you out? Are they, like, right there? They're, they're right there on me. As soon as I pull up, they're putting fuel in it. They're charging the battery. I mean, that, that's without the crew, we wouldn't be here. Brian, he could be a formidable opponent. We're about the same. My, if I couldn't do it without my crew, my crew's awesome. They help me out every time we come out to the track, and um, uh, we're ready. Great. All right, shake hands. You'll be the first race. Take a step back. Javier, Charles, step in. You're going to be the second race tonight. Um, your car's running well, Javier. You're doing well. Uh, there's no pressure for me. The only time that I felt a lot of pressure was the, the downtime after the 32. That's when, you know, there was a lot of wait time, and that was all the pressure for me. Uh, Charles, you seem extremely calm. What's your, your deal tonight? Well, I mean, always first round is the hardest one. Once I get past first round, I'll get calm and just run my race. I don't even care who's over there. All right, racers, get your cars double time. Let's race. This is my favorite matchup, the first matchup we have right here. All right, fire up those cars, gentlemen. Just get on the bridge. Stay with his arms. As soon as his arms move, go. Going against another big block Chevy, Robert, in the Chevelle. Am I sweating? I'm sweating because it's hot, not because of competition. drop on him and uh, he was coming up on me right there at the end. I just had him just by, by arm drop. I think I was a little bit late and uh, it was literally just real, real close. Actually, when we went across, I thought I was actually might have been ahead. It was that close. It, 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 it couldn't have been more than a foot down there to strike. Willie, tell me about this next race. The Chevy representation. Charles in the 2000 Trans Am. 
All I get up there and do and be the best that I can do. Try to cut the best light and shift my shift points and go to the other end. Javier in the left-hand lane. It's an 0-2 Ford Mustang. Stay a nice, clean pass all the way, because that guy right there is, 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 is doing just as good as I am. But that's the reason why he's here. Coming up, Charles fights against a serious fish tail. And later, things heat up in the all-out final. That Chevelle is getting a little warm. Is this Chevy going to be too hot? It's the last race of the U.S. Army All-Out Four at Houston Raceway Park. Oh, no, no. got out there and it left and went hard to the left and he still wasn't too far in front of me so I tried to get back in it a couple of times but it was too late. He was gone. That was crazy looking. Look at the black marks. That's pretty wild. Can I can I get excited now? I've been trying to stay calm. I've been trying to stay concentrated. It's time to get happy now. I hope I don't get too happy but this time it's time to do it man. Close to 500 racers jammed up Houston Raceway Park hoping to roll out of the pits $10,000 richer. 32 got that chance. Those 32 were sliced down to 16. 16 jockeyed for one of eight spots. Eight turned into four. And now all that's left are two. Both are Pink's all out vets. Both crashed on their first attempts. Both gunning to triumph in the best of three hot lap final for all the money and a heavy dose of redemption. All right, Robert, Javier, this is it, man. Here's a thousand bucks a piece. Robert, go ahead. Woo! Thousand bucks, baby! Are you ready for the proposition of a hot lap two out of three? Let me charge my battery, a full good charge. I'm up for the three. Okay, Robert, he's, you're gonna give him five minutes. You get lane choice, is that cool? That's fine with me. All right, me. what are you looking, how do you wanna roll on the lane choice? I'll take the uh, right lane. The right hand lane for the entire, if you go, if you win one, he wins one. Do you want to stay in the right lane or do you want to flip? Uh, we can flip. You're good, you're good. All right, crowd's waiting for it, we're waiting for it. Shake hands, gentlemen. Let's race for $10,000. He's a good, good competitor, but I think I can get him. You know, if I keep doing what I've been doing, we're bringing it home, baby.
Hubbard actually beat him on reaction time and had him at 60 foot, but Javier drove around him on a big end. That Chevelle is getting a little warm. Is this jabbing gonna be too hot? Coming up, the track may be straight, but this finally takes a turn. Oh, I think we need to redo that one. Pink's All Out is at Houston Raceway Park. It's down to the best of three hot lap final, and the score is tied, one race to one. Is this jamming gonna be too hot? Burnouts, come on! Tonight, I said it earlier, yeah, Willie, I made it on. very clear. Did if they deep stage tonight, you're going away. home because I won't want to call them back anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, the right lane deep stage. It's a $10,000 win for the left hand lane. It's the oh. four. I think we need to redo that one. Javier's broke in the left hand lane. Javier can't even get his car back up here. I did put it down in first gear, trans brake didn't work. That's all right, it was a mistake. Mistake on my part. This baby did it right here, floor all the way. Yeah! The, the most exciting race we've ever seen in Pink's history because we thought we thought the Chevy had it. Javier, would you agree on that first pass that Robert got you the first one? Yeah, he okay, got it. Okay, and Robert, on the second pass, you get Javier got you on the, yes, that sir. first one. On the last one, what happened was Robert, unfortunately, deep staged. You broke, but he deep staged before you took off. So I made it very clear. So you have $10,000 cash. <laughs> but this time, I hope you enjoy this. This is your Pink's All Out 2010 Houston Raceway Park Pink's All Out Trophy. Congratulations, <laughs> brother. There you go. This is how we're doing, Texas, my man. Javier Carmona returned to Pink's All Out with the confidence and fire it takes to achieve ultimate victory. He waylaid hundreds of racers to make it to the final. And even as his O2 Mustang was literally burning up, he stayed cool enough to roll it right into the winner's circle. Pink's All Out, 10,000 bucks, baby! Woo!